What's your favorite dance? Was it? Well, I know there's a lot of dances. Some of them I don't even know all of them. I would love to learn every single one. Um, when I think of them, I feel like a couple of them are so funny. Um, I really feel like between the Harlem Shake and getting punk, like those dances require a lot of cardio and a lot of like flexibility just in your whole rib cage. Um, just to really get into it. But I love a lot of the dances. Um, I would say that the crunk was probably, is probably our most favorite. Eh, I don't want to say most favorite. I take that back. So I say that it's on the lines of a lot of favorites. But I'm just going to talk about that one for right now. Is because it requires so much let go. Like you kind of just got to control your body but not control it. You got to just feel it and get into it and you got to really just breathe properly because you can like fall out you just sleep <laughs> because it just requires a lot of movement and a lot of quick stops and quick movements and it's it's a really 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 athletic dance to me so i like it but it reminds me too uh back in the days when we used to always even though my mom didn't let us listen to a lot of curses she knew how much we all loved dancing to Luke's Doodle Brown. And we probably shouldn't have been. But we weren't fast girls, so thank goodness for that. But that was the one song that we can probably listen to. And that's Crunk reminds me of just that Doodle Brown, like that getting gritty and just, uh, uh, just throwing the back in it and just losing control, air, and consciousness. No, But yeah, so I would say that right now it's just one of those dances that I really really like but I love all of them I love I love to see you dance and I love to see people dance and I love to dance anybody that I see dance it's like I just want to get up and be that hype person like hey hey but um yeah no so. guys are not intimidated at me in the club guys are gonna dance if they dance they dance if they don't dance they don't so it's really no difference if you're a female that can dance or can't dance because if they can dance and they feel like they can dance and you can dance, they're going to come and dance with you or they're going to comment about you being able to dance. They're going to view you as somebody that's fun to dance with at the club because they dance. If they don't dance, then they're probably not going to go to you anyway. They're probably going to look for the people that's like them and don't dance and stand around. But I go to the club to dance. So if you're a person that dance, and I really like to dance. I don't really like to be grinded on all night. And I, like, I'm not that dancer. But I do like a person to get out there and get on the dance floor and house party it up like a, a real dance party. Like, that's fun for me. So, yeah. But intimidation... Random question number three. How do I define my style? I define my style as changeable any point in my life I can decide on wearing something different or wearing something that is in style or wearing something that I think is my style so it's changeable I can mix and match with different things whether it's something that I truly want to embrace myself and create my own self or if it's something that I see that is trendy that I feel looks good on me and I'm going to try it so it's changed it's changeable and it's mixable um but it's me and it's always what i want to do just because something is a trend doesn't mean that i have to wear it even if i don't like it so some things are not for me you know it can be cute for someone else so i'm cool with being unique and i'm cool for getting up sometimes and saying okay but this don't match so who said it had to and for me, that makes me feel like I have a voice and that I don't need to live up to certain standards. If I feel this matches and I want to wear this, this is what I'm going to wear. And that is going to be the definition of me and not what you think 
me should be. So that's pretty much how I define my style is that it can be anything, anything that makes me embrace me and, and it's an asset to me being me and it doesn't overpower me being me, then I'm open-minded to it and I find fashion really, really fun. Who would not love to dress up every day and get fierce? And <laughs> but yeah, so that would set, that's my style, just being able to do what it is that I want to do and not really being concerned with anything, but being able to take from everything and make it me. So, the next random question is, have I ever fell at the club? Yes. Crazy thing is that all the time I've danced in the club, many years, I've never fell, even at any parties or anything. But I have been on a streak of just falling or doing something odd lately. But the one I would say wasn't exactly inside the club, but I was walking down the steps and it was a real narrow staircase, real steep. And I missed my step and next thing you know, I went tumbling down the steps, legs behind me, other legs straight. I got up walked into the room where the people were dancing and just dance and dance and dance. Next morning I woke up, ankle was swollen. So that was that time. But a more recent time where it was a more embarrassing moment was me celebrating um, one of the days for my sister's birthday. And I was dancing and I'm feeling good, feeling good, feeling good, taking it low, taking it low, bringing it back up, taking it low again. Yes, took it too low and went, ooh, well, I can remember just seeing that slow motion and everything just going back and I just fell back on the floor. <laughs> and my friends, and my, no, everybody that was in there was looking at me and I just sit there and I, I but I didn't feel embarrassed. I was shocked. But before I knew it, this young man came and picked me up and scooped me up like I was this magic African princess. And he carried me and he stood me up and I was like, thanks. And then I cracked up and that was it. I hope not to fall no more this year or next year. But sometimes when I'm dancing so hard, it, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. So if it happens, it'll happen as long as I don't hurt anything that what are my favorite products favorite must haves one lip gloss two hair products three eyeshadow and four body sprays love those absolutely love those I'll probably have those things inside my purse which also is the reason why most people say my purse is really heavy but I carry my purse everywhere and I will be on the dance floor and dance with my purse if I need to. But my purse always is usually probably big enough to fit up my girlfriend's stuff in it because they never carry their own bag. So, yes, for that question, those are the products that I have. Hair products, lip gloss, body sprays, and eyeshadow. Well, life to me is about living. So many people are not living. So many people are living their life through not saying certain things because what they feel someone else is going to say. Give that person a chance to tell you what they're going to say. It's their mind. It's their voice. Why decide for them? Oh, well, I'm not going to ask them because I don't want to hear something. But in the end, you still don't get the answer. You still are stuck wondering and guessing and assuming. And that's not a fact. And it doesn't feel good. So I feel like like boxers, when they get in the ring, they get in there. Their, their, their goal is to win and to do what they love. And at the end of the day, they're not wondering, you know, oh, well, you know, I'm afraid of these lumps and bumps I'm going to get with this fight. No. That's what you get when you decide to do this. So in life, you have to, in, in order to learn from life, you have to be able to live it. 
So if that means telling somebody something that you're not sure how they're going to respond, and they're going to have to respond, let them respond. React. Learn from the experience. Live life. You're not living it. You're not going through experiences. You're not gathering jewels and you're not building wisdom and you're not moving on to the next level of life. At least that's what I feel. So if I have a problem with somebody, I'm not going to say, oh, I'm not going to go and ask them because I don't want, you know, them to take this the wrong way. I don't want them to say this. Um, I think that they might get an attitude. Okay. They get an attitude, let them get an attitude. If they get happy, let them get happy. You have to learn what their reaction is going to be. And you have to learn how to deal with those different reactions at any given moment. So that's what I feel. Live life and find a peace in living it. Find a peace in understanding that we all have different opinions. We're not here to try to make us a super opinion. Like, I feel how I feel about things and you feel how you feel about things. And we might be really similar, but it's very different. And I can appreciate your difference. So I listen to where you're coming from and I hear you out and I agree with why you might feel that way. If that's not how I feel, it doesn't mean I can't still agree with you. My experience in life made me feel a different way in my choices. Just like it made you feel a different way. I can't make you take on my thoughts when you didn't live my life. So I think when we all get in this world and really realize that we all are here just trying to function amongst each other and we're all sometimes like all in water or we're more like, you know, together. Either way, we have to learn how to be able to function and say, okay, you know, how we still going to function being on two different sides of the opinion spectrum, but still meet at a median and still function and not hate this person or want to try to change this person or want to try to seem like your opinion is more superior. No, this unnecessary drama. Drama. Get out of here. But anyway, so that was um, my opinion on my views of just life and how I view it. I say best advice. Live life. Dance. end of the day you gotta be happy with life and you gotta always strive for more